Hello students, I hope all of you are doing beautiful mathematics. In this particular video, we will learn how to solve mixed equations. Look at this equation. The left hand side is trigonometric sine of pi x. And the right hand side is a quadratic equation. How do you equate a trigonometric equation with a quadratic equation? This sort of questions come up in mathematical olympiads like IOQM, American Math Competition. This one is from actually ISI BSTAT, BMAT entrance. Let's learn about it using this particular problem. So the way you go about these problems is that you look at the range, the range of these functions. What is the meaning of range? Range means the values that this function can take up. Sine of anything is always between minus 1 and plus 1. That's the property of the sine function. Sine of anything is between minus 1 and plus 1. So, whenever the right hand side is also in this range, also in this range we will have a possibility of a solution so let's analyze the right hand side a little bit more carefully so let's look at x square minus x plus 5 by 4 we will complete the square so I'll write x square minus 2 times half times x plus half square plus 1. I mean, this part is just 5 by 4. I mean, you can check. 1 by 2 whole squared is 1 by 4, plus 1 is 5 by 4. So, why did I write like this? Because this will now become x minus half whole squared plus 1. This is very important because you immediately notice that this entire thing is either 1 or more than 1. Why? Because this is a square quantity. The smallest value that it can take up is 0. So, x minus half whole square will always be 0 or more than 0. Plus 1, so it will always be 1 or more than 1. Okay, so that's great. Now, we have a better understanding of the equation. Sine of pi x is equal to x minus half whole square plus 1. This side is between minus 1 and plus 1. This side is always greater than or equal to 1. So you see that there is a possibility of overlap. And that overlap happens when the left hand side and the right hand side is equal to 1. So let's look at the right hand side. It's equal to 1 when x is equal to half. Luckily, the left hand side also ha becomes 1 when x is equal to half. Therefore, there is only one solution and that is x equals to half. Only one solution. I want you to use the graphical format to understand this problem as well because it is a learning experience. After all, we are doing this for learning how, to, how things work, right? So what is x minus half whole square plus 1? What is this? How does this look like? x minus half whole square plus 1. So this is 0, 0. This is 1, suppose. This is 1. Okay. So, x minus half whole square. So, the f x square looks like this. The formula, the graph of y equal to x square. Now, what we can do is we can do graphical transformation. So, x minus, so let's convert it to x minus half whole square. So, it is just a translation to the right by half units. Like this. And then we add up x minus 2, x minus half whole square, we add a 1. So we move it up 1 unit, so it's here. 
So now you see that this yellow picture, yellow parabola is the graph of x minus half whole square plus 1. What about the graph of sine of pi x? Well, we have a horizontal contraction of sine by 1 over pi. So, the picture of it is like this. And of course, it will go on. So, at this particular point, if you notice, the sine function and the yellow parabola meets each other. It's wonderful, right? I hope you loved learning mathematics in this video and otherwise as well. Keep on doing great problems. I'll see you in the next one and take care.